All right, let me begin by saying shalom to all Israel, all right? I want everyone to understand that our mission is to teach, gather, and unify our people. And when I say our people, I'm referring to the diaspora. It's a subject that no one ever talks about. Our people who have suffered from the time of forced migration, colonialization, the sub-Saharan slave trade, and the transatlantic slave trade. It is the great tribulation that the Bible speaks of, that no church, no organization, no political movement ever speaks on. It is a forgotten history. It is a forgotten uh, evil that has occurred throughout the world. Okay? I want to go to Isaiah 49 and verse 6. Let's go there. Ours is the true Holocaust. You talk about six million people died during the time of 1945. Are you kidding me? Let's talk about uh, 200, 800 million blacks and Native Indians and uh, Latinos that died. Okay? That is the true Holocaust. Open it with Isaiah 49, verse 6, please. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49 and verse 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant. So the Most High said it's a light thing that we should be his servant. Come on. To raise up the tribes of Jacob. Our job is to raise up the tribes of Jacob. Come on. And to restore the preserved of Israel. Our job is to restore the preserved of Israel. Come on. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles. The light to the Gentiles are our people who suffered during the time of the forced migration, during the time of sub-Saharan slave trade, transatlantic slave trade, colonialization. We have been renamed, re-identified, okay, throughout the world. No longer are we known as the children of Jacob. No longer are we known as the 12 tribes of Israel. We have been deceived through political movements, religions, so forth and so on. So our job is to be a light to our people, to restore to them the true gospel of Jesus Christ. Come on. That thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Give me Matthew 15, 24. So our people are not forgotten. The world may have forgotten the atrocities that occurred to us, but the Lord has not forgotten. And he has raised up his true servants to make mention and to do something about this atrocity. And to restore us. Come on. Matthew 15, 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Who is the lost sheep of the house of Israel? The sons of Jacob. The sons and daughters of Jacob. The 12 tribes of Israel who were forced into various migrations. Suffered through the diaspora. Give me James 1 and 1. James chapter 1 verse 1. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. To greetings. the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings. So the same mission the disciples had is our mission today. Our mission is unlike any other mission throughout the world. I want everybody to understand that. Okay, There's no group on earth who has undertaken the true mission of the disciples of Christ to re- Resurrect and gather the 12 tribes of Israel which have been scattered abroad. You may call it the diaspora today. The Bible uses other words, the scattered, okay? But it's the same thing. Our people who suffered during the time of colonialization, forced migration, sub-Saharan slave trade, transatlantic slave trade, and it seems like our people have been forgotten about. But you are not forgotten, okay? Ours is the people that came out of Egypt with Moses, who received the laws of God and the holy covenant. We are the people that broke the laws of God and broke the covenant. But giving all praises to the Most High, he still did not forget us. He sent us a savior, Jesus the Christ, the black Messiah, to die for us and restore the covenant and to give us the laws of God once again. That's what he did. So brothers, sisters online who's watching and hearing this, this is a call to arms. Listen good to what I'm saying. This is a call to to arms. We need the help of every man and every woman out there who's listening and who believes in this truth. What do we need you to do? We need you print our flyers, translate our flyers if it's in another language, translate it. And wherever you live, put the maps up for me, put the maps up. We were scattered throughout Mexico. I want you to listen good. Mexico, 
Honduras, Belize, El Salvador. I'm not going to read all of them. El Salvador, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, Bolivia, okay, so forth and so on. Our people of black and native Indian descent, we are the Israelites. Our job is to get the gospel to these people. Look at the islands of Puerto Rico. Our people scattered throughout Dominica, St. Lucia, Barbados, Trinidad, Tobago, Guyana. We have to get this gospel to them. Give me the next map. Our people also who are in Morocco, Algeria, Tunisia, even Libya and Egypt, the diaspora was scattered there, Mauritania. And I understand that some of these places don't allow Bibles in there. But if you are listening and believe this truth, translate the flies. Now, I know what I'm about to say may be dangerous. Translate the flies. Distribute the flies. Prepare the way for us to get there. And we will get there. Somehow, somewhere, we will get there. Mali, Niger, Chad, Nigeria, Cameroon, Congo, Angola, Nambia, even South Africa, Madagascar, wherever you are at, Mozambique, if you believe this gospel, because the diaspora was vast, when I say vast, like the Bible says to the 12 tribes scattered abroad, it means what it says. And it got so worse after that, because the biblical diaspora began with the Assyrian captivity, followed by the Babylonian captivity, followed by the Persian Mede, followed by the Greeks and Romans. After that, it continued. It did not stop, okay? Although we rose in power during the Middle Ages, they conquered us again during the time of Renaissance. Hence, you had the, the sub-Saharan slave trade followed by the transatlantic slave trade. So brothers, sisters, listen. Again, print the flyers. And if you live or have family and or friends in a country that does not speak English, translate the flyers into your language. Distribute the flyers. Okay, listen good. The Most High will give you a blessing. Don't be fearful. You women too. Women, you can hand out these flyers. Just get the word out, okay, and support us. I want you all to support us because it ain't easy to get to these places and to further and water the gospel. All right, with that, shalom. Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.